Hi everyone, I'm back. Today I'm gonna share some of the unique Filipino okay. habit. First is the Filipino time. Annoying as it may be, a huge majority of Filipinos, including me, <laughs> are guilty of this. We just can't arrive on time, um, especially for an event like parties, gathering. We often arrive some 30 minutes after the scheduled start. There could be a lot of reasons why you often arrive late to an event. But uh, there are those people who purposely or intentionally arrive late because they don't want to arrive early just in case others would say they are too excited or too eager. Nonsense, right? But that's the truth. Uh, this is one of the Filipino habits that should be changed. Okay, number two. Okay, number the tabi tabi po. Filipinos are naturally superstitious. When we are entering a place where we suspect ghosts and goblins may be living, we will say, Tabi Tabi Po. It is a way of saying, Excuse me or Pardon me when entering or passing a territory where these creatures inhabit for fear that there will be unforgiving consequences if the creatures are not acknowledged or given respect. It can also be translated as move to the side, sir, or move to the side, please. Number three. Wag kang turo ng turo, baka ka manuno. That is how we say it in Tagalog. In English, it means don't point your finger. You might offend a dwarf. Don't, don't do this, okay? These phrases are commonly uttered among Filipinos when crossing a pile of soil or through the woods or fields or unfamiliar places. It is coming out of fear that one might disturb, offend, step on, or provoke tiny beings that dwell and roam around the area. Number four, wrapping everything in plastic. Some Filipinos wrap furnishings and their belongings in plastic or do not remove them from their original packaging. I am guilty of this as well. Um, like this one, I bought this organizer uh, last year, October last year. Okay. And until now, it is in its original plastic packaging. You can you can still see the the price, the tag price. I intentionally did not remove the plastic cover to avoid dust and dirt to stick to its white uh, to its white cover. Okay. So it would stay clean for the whole year that I will use this organizer. Okay. Number five, food hoarding or take home, take home in parties. When attending events, the hosts often encourage guests to take home some of the foods at the party. There are even hosts who, who pack foods for their guests to take home after the party. Very generous, right? Number six, overloading everything. In some barrio or barangays where transportation is limited, people tend to overload on jeepneys, motorcycles, and buses to go to their um, destination. Like this. Number seven, using vague words in a conversation. A lot of us are used to say vague words in a conversations. For example, 
tinawagan mo na si ano na ano mo na yung kwan like that big one number eight easy adoption of new lingo Filipinos can adapt easily to new created language like Chukchakchenes, Chugi, Churva, Caribels, Jowa, and some created and some created phrases like Advance ako magisip eh. or Push mo yante. Wala na, finish na. Kanta pa more. Number 9 Using funny nicknames For other countries, it may sound funny But for Filipino, it sounds ordinary Many foreigners find Filipino nicknames sounds funny Because we are using syllabic repetitions Like Junjun, Janjan, Tonton, Bongbong, Tintin etc. Some put H to their names like June, Joy, J, etc. Some might also have Tito Boy, Tita Girly, Lola Baby. Fun. Number 10. Filipinos love video, okay? Or video karaoke. Filipino parties will never be complete without a karaoke. Even the rich and famous Filipino people, like Manny Pacquiao, love singing at karaoke. When it is holiday and people are celebrating, you can see video cas anywhere, <laughs> and you can hear people singing everywhere in the Philippines especially during holiday season like Christmas, New Year. Number 11. Pointing with lips. Have you seen people pointing with lips? You can only see that in the Philippines. When someone asks for a direction uh, or is looking for something, it is common for us Filipinos to use our lips in pointing the direction when someone asks where's the restroom or where's the toilet you will see people or you will see someone using their lips for pointing there or if you ask have you seen my wallet oh yeah i saw it it's there using lips to point things instead of using fingers all right, so that's all I have. I only have 11 on the list, but there are more. There are a lot of unique Filipino habits. Uh, if you visit Philippines, you can see that and experience that by yourself. If you know unique Filipino habits that I did not mention in this video, you can comment down below and share it with us. Um, thank you everyone for watching and thank you for supporting my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe if you learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up and bye thank you for watching